Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jim here. Just wanted to uh, go through a new piece of gear that I got recently. This is the Tough Possum Gear Shackleton EDC Satchel. Um, I picked this up about two weeks ago. I'm really liking it so far. Um, you know, I've been using it in the woods, been using it as a range bag a little bit. Today I'm out on a piece of property here. I um, was doing a little shooting earlier, so um, now I'm just scouting out, scouting out the area, seeing what I can find. Um, so real quick, I'll just go through this bag, you know, some of the key features that I found and um, what I like to run in it. And uh, yeah, we'll get right into it. Hey guys, just wanted to real quick go through, you know, kind of what this satchel looks like when you're wearing it um, and some of the key features in terms of wearing and things that I've noticed. So the thing I like about it, it's adjustable. It's got a really thick, at least two inch strap here. Um, I leave mine kind of off to the side and a little bit high so I can move it out of the way. I can do some things if I need to, um, you know, whether that be uh, grabbing, you know, my knife here and throwing this over my shoulder, um, you know, or being able to um, do something shooting wise. It's kind of nice. Um, even if I'm fishing, you know, I can, I can still fish with this behind my back and I can still easily swing it around and access it, which I think is really nice. Um, it's got these, this little D-ring here adjustable slide lock you know nothing too fancy but nothing that's going to break on you either um, which is i like it so another cool thing about this it's got this cobra buckle right here um, it's not aluminum but it's really sturdy plastic um, i've been banging it into different things in the woods here uh, it's got a couple scratches on it but you know it's going strong so it's nice because you can one-handed open this you can also one-handed close it you know if i'm doing something i can pick this open take out what i need to take out and throw it back there move it out of my way very easily just to show some other things here um, you know if i have this knife on me i can also throw this on here and you know let's say i'm going through the woods and I find some fat wood or something that I want to do, you know, I can grab this knife, pull it out, move it back out of the way now. Um, I can take these, this out here, take my gloves off very easily. You know, I can also put them back on one-handed. I haven't used my left hand for anything yet. Um, you know, if I'm running like my pistol caliber carbine here, maybe I'm hunting if it's the right season for that. Um, or maybe, you know, I'm at the range and this is my range bag, you know, this is out of the way and I can still use this if I need to. Um, I can move it out of the way and this isn't, isn't going to bother me and I don't have to rummage through a backpack and take it off, which is kind of nice. Um, I could definitely see it being very useful for someone who's a fisherman, um, which I am and I plan on using it a lot. Um, and now we'll go through some of the other features of the pack that we'll zoom in on for here. All right, so let's go through the uh, internal contents of this satchel here. So one of the first things you can notice about it is um, really nice quality Cordura material. Um, you know, it's got the sliding Cobra buckle here, so I can slide this up here, fit more material in the top of the bag. I can slide it down to really cinch that up. I just have my gloves on a piece of leather here hooked over the edge of this buckle, which I really like. Um, if you go to the outside here, there's some slide in pockets. They're not slide through. Um, so, you know, you could throw a knife in here, uh, which I have done. And the nice thing about it is, you know, I can pull this knife out from here while it's still attached to the bag, just as an extra thing, right? On this side, I've got just a silky F100 on here which fits in really nicely. So obviously a Baco Laplander, um, a Mora knife, any of those things would fit nicely in here. Uh, once again, they do not slide through. These are actual real pockets. Another thing I did, I slid some shot cord on the back here. Um, and I did that so that I could put one of these Thermarest sit pads on the bottom. So there are little loop tabs on the bottom of this or on the back of this, sorry. Um, and you can put some shot cord through those loop tabs and then run it under this thick strapping here. And now I've got a spot that I can throw my sit pad on the bottom of the bag or I could take it off. Also, 
Um, these are supposed to work well with the Tough Possum gear um, backpacks, which I guess will be coming out in the next year or so, maybe more. Um, but yeah, I know that Jay Berry's excited about that. Um, and also, they should work well with the Hill People gear packs. I'm gonna try running this on my Tarahumara, see how it works, and I'll let everybody know about it. Um, it's got some closed cell foam backing on the back of this, very similar to what you'd see in the Hill People gear ba uh, bag. So if you like those, you'll find this very comfortable. Going on to the inside of this thing, we pop it open and you've got these dog ears here, which I like because it keeps your stuff in there. I can still access the main in in, uh, internals of my pack here by just sliding them to the side. But, you know, here's a Bushcraft Outfitters tarp, poncho. I like to throw that in there. Um, if I pop these open, there's a lot of space in this thing, which I really like. There's also this uh, laser cut webbing panel which I don't have anything rigged up to it right now um, but you know you could put some of those um, like magazine pouches or you could put uh, maybe like your Leatherman pouch something like that on it I've also got this uh, heavy cover canteen in a tough possum bag that is a cover for like a dirty canteen kit so you don't get this soot crap all over your gear uh, he made this for me. If you want one, he could probably make you one as well. Um, anyway, I have that in there. Got the Thrunite TH20, probably the best headlamp that doesn't take some kind of crazy battery. Just a double A. Um, I got this little Possibles pouch with some uh, fire kit in there, right? So we got a lighter, some boat matches, small knife. Titanium whistle, piece of fat wood, tiny little uh, lanyard fire steel, Phoenix EO one light, all that fits in there pretty nicely. Um, just another thing from Tough Possum Gear. I'm a big fan of his uh, of his work, so I figured I might as well do a video on it. Um, so these are pretty cheap. On his website as well. Another thing I throw in here, one of these uh, little fire kit bags, another tough possum gear product, right? So I like to throw just a plastic bag in there. Obvious, lots of uses, right? Um, this is some creamer and uh, one of these little um, instant coffees. I got one of these little glow lights in there. Um, lid to my canteen kit, spork, more coffee, uh, small first aid kit, and then last things I keep in here, just some Neosporin, a little bit more fat wood. So those things fit in there pretty nicely. I also got a small container that I like to keep my, um, my stove in. You know, it's kind of a pain in the neck to get out, but I got one of these uh, Bushcraft Essential Stoves and that slides in this front pocket here. As you, if you can see these uh, pockets, which are pretty nice and generous, it slides in there very nicely. So I slide it in with that bag so it doesn't get crap all over everything. You know, I got a Leatherman multi-tool and this other front pocket here I've got big six, six inch ferro rod, emergency blanket. A couple of these spool cards also from Tough Possum Gear. Got some bank line on it, I got some jute twine. Um, and that's actually about all I'm running in this in this pack. But um, I should say satchel. But yeah, it's very nice. I like the way this is set up. Um, I like that it's easy, quick access to it. Everything you can do with this with the satchel is one-handed, which I really enjoy. Um, I don't think it takes up a lot of room. I think you can carry about as much gear as you need. Um, and I really recommend, if you are interested in something like this, to pick it up. I've tried some other uh, haversacks, satchels. Um, I think this is definitely up there as one of the top pieces of kit that you can get on the market right now. 
So just wanted to show this real quick. If you can see that stitch work right there, um, you know, if you've seen in my other videos uh, that I'm wearing um, a wool anorak, right? And uh, you know, I sewed that, um, and I know a little bit about quality work, about stitch work, and um, I've talked a lot with Jay Berry about this, and um, you know, his quality is top notch. Um, I know him and his mother have both been doing this for a while, and you know, if you look at those lines. Those are really clean lines, so you're getting a piece of uh, quality kit. You're not going to see those fraying stitches that are, you know, and the bag is coming undone. I think we both all kind of know what I'm talking about. If you've seen, um, you know, gear like that before, it's very disappointing when you get it out in the woods and you start actually using it and you know rubbing into sticks and you're, you know, putting this on on the ground or whatever you're doing. It's it's going to get beat up. So, um, you know, if it's not done right it's, it's going to fall apart on you eventually. So um, I like the fact that this is actually a, a very quality, well put together product. Just to show, again, these front pockets are pretty generous. Um, so yeah, yeah, definitely quality product. So quick final thoughts on this um, Shackleton EDC satchel. Uh, price point on this is about $140 right now. Um, I think that might be a little promotional price. I think it's actually like 150. Um, is that too much for some people? Probably, yeah. I mean, I have one of those finished gas mask bags uh, that I've modified. It works very well. Um, you know, is there a reason to switch to this? Uh, I think my argument would be that um, you know you're investing in a piece of quality gear. This isn't going to fall apart in you. It's not going to fray. Um, I think it's going to last a lifetime. I like the fact that these are in woods tones, right? They're neutral tones. Um, I'm not, you know, using a flaming red or purple bag that's going to draw a lot of attention to myself. Um, you know, I can throw this over my shoulder with obviously different things in it, and uh, you know, go into an airport um, and use this as a travel bag. I could use this as a work bag. You know, I work in a, in a medical setting, medical professional, so I could, I, I would feel comfortable using it even in that setting. I don't think it draws any attention to you. It's not loaded out with Molly on the front of it. Um, the fact that these are modular is very nice. Uh, I would put this in the same quality as uh, Hill People Gear products. Um, I've also tried the uh, Hidden Woodsman um, Haversacks. Uh, in my opinion, I think this is a little bit higher quality. The stitch work is better on it. Um, I like the design a little bit better. I like the fact that I can one-handed open this in comparison um, to, yeah, you can on the new Hidden Woodsman ones, but um, the buckle on this, I think, is, is uh, a little bit better quality. So, um, overall, I would, I would recommend picking one of these up if you, if you get a chance to. Um, I don't think you'll regret it. And I will uh, keep updating, you know, what kind of kit I use in this. Um, and if I do get a pack that I can fit this on and I can figure out how to do it, I will uh, definitely be putting that up as a video as well.